Hi guys, welcome to Designers, I'm Saira Kuri. If you are new to my channel and you love interior design and architecture, don't forget to subscribe to join our design community. I'm finally home after attending Milan Design Week and then New York Design Week in the last couple of months. As you know, I'm Designers Magazine Director and I was attending these events for work, but now I'm very excited to get back home and I'm ready to share with all of you new ideas and the latest trends in design. Today's video is about how to select the right furniture and details for a small living room. You guys ask me a lot about small spaces and that's why I will share with you some tips on how to trick your mind and make a space look bigger by selecting the right pieces. I want you to understand something. A good design is not about beauty. It's the clever play between your space and each object. The whole composition will be responsible in the way you are perceiving your room and how you feel inside. I will not talk about style. I will provide to you some tools and tips to get a small but comfortable and stylish living room. A typical living room is composed by a sofa, armchair, ottomans, coffee table, rug, curtains and some accessories. I'll give you some information and examples to select each one of this general furniture and details. If you have any question after watching this video or you need some specific advice to get a stylish living room, please let me know in a comment below. I will respond to all of you, so let's do it. I will start with the larger element in the space and usually the most necessary. The sofa. Choose your larger pieces like your sofa first. And stick to neutrals with your larger furnishings. Choose your sofa with a lighter feel and keep color and patterns simple. Then add color and texture by smaller pieces like intro pillows or accessories such as vases or lamps. When you're selecting your sofa, you should consider its shape and the visual way not just its actual size. Remember that designing a small space is all about visual manipulation. Be careful with the scale of the furniture. It's very important to maintain the proportion between your sofa and your space. Another important thing is to select your sofa with the legs because it feels less heavy in a space than pieces that sit directly on the floor. The space flowing under the sofa is visually important because it makes the room seem so much roomier, more open, and your brain will perceive the real dimension of the space because the leggy sofa doesn't obstruct views of the floor. Remember the basics. Go neutral, with clean lines, legs, and in a scale and proportion in relation of your space. My second recommendation is about accent chairs. It's one of my favorite elements because it can add a unique piece that can make the difference in your room. You can add texture, color, and a specific style or trend by selecting your accent chair. When purchasing accent chairs, Think light. Anything with a heavy and solid look or dark colors will feel huge in the room. Think light in its real way too. This way you can move and restylize your living room depending on your activities and needs. One of my favorites are the transparent chairs. It looks great in a small spaces and are very functional and stylish at the same time. If you use transparent objects like acrylic or glass, your eyes will view more of the space and trick your mind into thinking it's bigger than what it really is, because they take up zero visual space. Here are some examples of light visual weight furniture. My third recommendation is about rocks. Choosing a larger rock is a trick that makes a room feel bigger. Unlike smaller rocks, the large size doesn't visually break up the floor.
Use one large area rug to make a room look bigger instead of placing several small rugs. Several rugs make a small room look crowded. If you don't have a large rug, don't put any rug out until you can buy one with a correct size. Use a light color rug to make the room look brighter and more spacious. This is a common technique with paint and works with rugs as well. Pastels, neutrals, and off-white are best. Use rugs that have a solid color rather than a pattern because patterns can clutter a small room. My fourth recommendation is about cardinals. In a small space, we need to think vertical. To take advantage of the vertical space, accentuate tall windows with high curtains. Also, curtains hung well above a window at earnest and high to a small room. Keep the curtain design basic, but use extra fabric for fullness. About coffee tables, look for something transparent in acrylic or glass. The table should seem to disappear, so it gives your room the illusion of more space. If you have visual space for a solid coffee table, Look for a table with simple or delicate lines. Another excellent idea is to select pieces that can serve multiple purposes. Multifunctional furniture is very important when it comes to a small space designs because they have the ability of adapting to many situations depending on the activity. To support this idea, you could use ottomans instead of a traditional coffee table to make better use of your space, because a tiny house means your living room often does double or triple duty when people come over. You can top them with a tray to hold flowers and books, or use as extra seating when you have friends at home. Then, when it's family time, they become footrest. Some extra tips and a must-have in a small living room are a large mirror. In a small living room, use a large mirror to give the illusion of expansion. Your room will immediately appear larger and brighter by reflecting the light. The best place for a mirror is opposite to a window, so that it reflects as much light as possible without many elements that can saturate said illusion. And a second extra tip is nature inside. A plant makes even the smallest space feel fresher and lighter. Go green and soften up your interior. Try a hanging plant to save space and go contemporary. This is the end of my recommendations for small living rooms. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Also, if you enjoyed this video, click like so I know that this kind of topic is helpful for you. Remember to follow me on Instagram for daily inspiration and ideas and to get in touch. Have a beautiful week. See you next time.